Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to configure uh, VOS 3000 Web V3.0. Uh, in this section, we'll do basic configuration of uh, VOS. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, we will go to rates, and uh, I will just enter a random rate group name. For example, customer test rate I'll hit submit now I'll create one more rate for vendor I'll name it vendor test rate okay now hit submit Now, first of all, I'm going to create uh, uh, rates for customer. So I'll go in to the group, and then I'll simply add, click on you know uh, rates option, and I'll click on add rates button. Now, in this uh, uh, tutorial, I'm going to uh, get example of uh, uh, UK country code. Uh, I'll be adding uk landline and uk mobile on these rates okay so uk country code is 444 and the area prefix is 1 for landline i'm going to select international and uh, I'll, I'll just assume i'm going to sell this rate to my customer at 0 0.008 per minute and billing cycle is one by one so i'll press submit now i will add another rate double four two two is also a UK uh, area prefix for landline so now I'm going to select international and again uh, I'm going to assume that for this uh, area code I'm getting 0 0.006 charge I'm going to charge my customer at this rate so uh, I'm going to enter 0 0.006 and billing is again one by one so I'll hit submit now I will make my last entry which will be for my UK mobile double four seven make it international and I'm going to sell it at 0 0.02 cent per minute okay now billing cycle is again one by one uh, you can change the billing cycling, billing, uh, billing cycle if uh, uh, you you want to charge uh, different cycle to your, f uh, to your customers. Okay, so I'll hit submit now. Now similarly, I'm I'll go to my vendor rates and I'll I will add same prefix. And these are the uh, rates that I'm I'm getting from my vendor. I'll assume that for uh, for area code one, I'm getting 0 0.005 from my vendor. Hit submit. And uh, for area code two, my client is going to charge me four cent, uh, 0 0.004 cent per minute. Okay, and billing billing cycle is in, is one by one hit submit now the last area code would be double four seven so I'll enter double four here and seven on area prefix select international and this time my vendor is charging me 0 0.01 cent per minute okay so I'll hit submit now you can see I have successfully created a customer rate group and vendor rate group and I have successfully added the rates in these groups okay now uh, next step is I'll go to accounts and customers here I'm going to add my test customers so I'll just pick a random name customer test and money uh, this is the amount that you are going to give it to your customer okay so for this demo I'm just going to add $50 okay 
billing rate would be uh, customer test rate so I'll select that and hit submit now uh, account is created you can see uh, now what I'm going to do I need to add mapping gateway for this customer mapping gateway is basically the server IP from where your customer is going to send the call so you have to tell the machine to the server from which IP address your customer is going to send the call so we need to uh, assign those IP addresses on these mapping gateway okay so I'm just going to make a random name customer gateway it would be international uh, and capacity is something uh, that how many calls your, your customer can send uh, at one time like concurrent calls right now the capacity is, is 32 I can change it to 64 now the customer will be able to send 64 concrete calls at one time okay now simply I'll go to IP address IP and I'll enter my customer IP address on this section if my customer has uh, more than one IP then I'll simply click add IP field and here I'll add the next IP so I don't have currently I don't have another IP so I'll just skip it hit submit that's done now we will create a vendor account I'll click add vendor account and now I'm going to give a account ID vendor test again I'm going to assign uh, $50 I'll assume that I have paid my vendor $50 so I'll add that amount on this section and again on billing rate I'll select the billing rate of a vendor which is this one then submit okay the account is created successfully now I'm going to add a routing gateway Ru routing gateway is something uh, that to which server you are going to send the traffic so you need to assign your vendor IP address on this section I'll select vendor test my vendor account then I'll just um, enter a random name um, for example vendor GW okay next server IP address uh, here you are going to uh, assign the IP address of your vendor server sub server so capacity is 32 and priority is one log type protocol is SIP that's depend if your customer is using SIP or H323 uh, so in my case I'm using SIP so port is 5060 uh, you can change the port if uh, your vendor provides you any other port you can change it here for example 6060 you can use that one as well but in our example we'll use 5060 default SIP port area prefix is very important to configure because uh, this will from this section uh, server will understand uh, which goal has to go to which route routing gateway okay for example for UK we are uh, we are we are assuming that, assuming that we are going to use this route so I'll, I'll just enter UK country code okay even though I can you know add multiple uh, area codes uh, country codes and area code in the section with more comma separated uh, comma separated like double four one double four two and double four seven but since in this example I only have one vendor and one routing gateway so I'll just use double four to make it easy okay hit submit okay that's it we have configured was 
on the basic configuration and it's done it's ready now the customer can send the call and it, it will connect with to the vendor uh, let me uh, make some uh, uh, test call from our uh, load tester and uh, just let me start it hold on okay actually I paused the video and I started again uh, I have I have started the calls now let's see if uh, we are getting the calls we'll go to live calls and there you can see yes the calls are connecting yeah I have 20 to connected calls at this time okay let's see the calls okay you see I have 20 connected calls by the way these are f th these are not real number uh, I have generated these uh, calls from uh, our uh, load tester and these are f these are fake number so this is just this is just to show you uh, as an example how we can connect the calls okay that's it we have done the basic basic settings and uh, it's all working